Jurassic World Chaos Theory returns with its second season, which is now out for you to view, and with it the continuation of the first season story with the Nublar 5, and of course the season finale's reveal of Brooklyn being alive. And with this season comes a lot of emotion, a lot of character growth, lots of dinosaur action, and a few surprises along the way. So, buckle up guys, as today, I'm gonna give you guys my full review, spoiler free, for Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2. Hello everybody, how you all doing? I am exhausted right now as for me jurassic world chaos theory season 2 is out however it released in at one o'clock in the middle of the night but today's video guys is all about jurassic world chaos theory season 2 and my spoiler free review now before we begin guys i just want to remind you that this is the spoiler free review video i will be doing a full review with spoilers included Hopefully on the same day, if not, it will be the next day because, frankly, I am exhausted. But remember guys, just because the show is out now doesn't mean everyone has seen it, so at least give it a 24 hour wait before you start posting spoilers in the comments and also on your social medias. Respect everyone's right to view the show. Oh great, we've got a fan going. Sorry if you guys can hear something murmuring. That's just my air conditioning going off and trying to heat up the place because it's a little chilly right now. But let's get into the review right now. So we're gonna go through a pros and cons list of this and keep spoilers down to zero. So if you want any spoilers, remember that's not happening in this video. And I think the first pro that I wanna go into is actually in the midst of a negative as partway through the season, there's a element that actually showcases the dinosaur modern world relationship in a very interesting light that season one actually gave a good representation of as well. And for those who weren't as happy with Dominion's representation of this, I think that they will be definitely happy with this season, as I know a lot of praise for season one was on the fact of showing dinosaurs interacting with our modern world and modern environments compared to the regular Isla Nublar and Isla Sorna. And with that, another strength actually was the divided story element, as we actually followed two storylines primarily for this season. Of course, the main one being that of the Nublar 5, as they were trying to find answers regarding the Broker, as they had left off in Season 1, to find out what the Broker was up to and stop them before it was too late. The other storyline that we followed was of course Brooklyn as in the season 1 finale we had the reveal that she was alive and mostly well although scarred as she was now missing one of her arms. And in her storyline she seeks out the truth for the injustices done to the dinosaurs bring her into interactions that would bring a lot of emotion and a lot of surprise and a lot of scares definitely on her side. Some of the most tense moments in this season definitely come from her side of the story, but that's not to say the Nublar 5 have it easy, as they have many intense sequences from the very first episode down to the last moments of season 2. The new characters that are introduced are actually very welcome indeed, and they actually don't feel frustrating or just tied on to die as they actually are used in the season very well. The dinosaurs, for the most part, are used very well, and actually, one of the interesting things is actually some of the dinosaurs that weren't used in this season, which actually made it very interesting to see the newer species and older species that did appear in this season. There were a lot of tense sequences with some specific dinosaurs that they have promoted quite a bit of, but at the same time, there was a lot of sequences with dinosaurs that they hadn't shown at all and made them quite a treat. However, there were some negatives that came with this season, as no season of Jurassic World, Chaos Theory, or Camp Cretaceous was ever perfect. But there were some inconsistencies with the canon that really disrupted parts of the story once you got to thinking about it. And it seemed like a lot of elements of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World Dominion especially didn't play out 
in a canonical status that made sense. And unfortunately, this does hit back on the story at the end, and also there are a few elements that unfortunately hit this season in a negative aspect. One of these things actually is the promotion of this season as a whole, as primarily there were three elements that they focused on a bit too much, actually, for two of them. One of them was the Sukumimus, which it seems that, as I said in the past, that while the Sukumimus in Season 1 was just there as a background creature, this season highly focused its promotion on the fact that the Sukumimus was here to stay. And in this case, I would say it was a very good positive. They didn't show too much as a whole, primarily keeping the images down to the same little sections and leaving a lot to be desired for us viewers. However, that said, unfortunately, a dinosaur that did receive too much promotion in a negative way is the Majungasaurus as the main promotion and the first promotion of this season was with it on the boat, as seen in the original teaser trailer and briefly in many other clips and also images showcasing this sequence, showing that they had a really high hopes for it. However, the season did feel underwhelming in many points that this did hit. And the third thing that they promoted the heck out of was Brooklyn. Which for Brooklyn, I gotta say, this season was absolutely a treat watching her as we got to see her grow as a character and face some of the most tense moments in this season so far. In terms of the show as a whole, I would say that it did struggle in many situations. I think the first episode kind of left you on an underwhelming feeling as unfortunately, due to the overpromotion of the first episode, it did feel like it was being pushed a bit too much because the sequence of the Majungasaurus that has been promoted every which way that they could unfortunately did not go as crazy as it did. However, one thing I will praise about that sequence is the Majungasaurus itself. It was very terrifying and the scene itself gave some very lovely Fallen Kingdom horror vibes, especially with the thunder and lightning, the tense quiet atmosphere, it just felt like I was watching the Interraptor bedroom scene all over again, except this time on a boat with adults and also a giant Majungasaurus instead of an Indoraptor. But it gave that feeling as well, but unfortunately it just didn't last as long as I would have liked. The middle section of the season actually felt a little bit slow and repetitive in many points. However, these points actually did allow for an interesting aspect of showing the dinosaurs interacting with the modern world, which season one did very well in its own, but I think that this season did struggle a little bit with showing it more because it kind of felt it condensed its space a lot more compared to season one. Season one, the Nublar Five were constantly on the road, moving from location to location, having different situations pop up, and them having to deal with them, and dinosaurs interacting with many different environments. It didn't feel as grand as that for season two, which was all right in many ways, but in some cases it did feel repetitive for a lot of the middle portion. And as for the ending, guys, where we got some major reveals and some teases for season three, I will say it is both overwhelming and underwhelming. I don't know how to put it in this video, but I think that this finale did struggle with its place. A part of it was due to some of the elements not really working and some of them overachieving in a very positive way. And the ending that we did receive sets up season three in a very intense sort of way and I'm definitely looking forward to it. And as for where I would leave Season 2 for Chaos Theory, I would say that I'm going to give it a ranking out of 10, a 7.8. I think that it's just under 8 stars, but definitely above 7 by a long shot. It's right in a good spot, and I think Season 2 is actually nearly as good as Season 1, but I think just the middle section of it really slows it down. And I think that whole promotion of one sequence primarily over the rest of the season, really did undervalue the season. It felt like they were nervous to show too much, and I discussed this in my previous videos before, but as a whole, I think they should have promoted season two a little bit more diversely, because 
as a whole, season two was actually very well done. And in fact, a lot of the s intense scenes in here make it much better than season one. Season one had some very intense moments. I will never forget my first reaction to Brooklyn's air quote death from Mateo's perspective, as it was actually very haunting and very disturbing from that kind of perspective. And of course, she didn't actually die in that season, but there were a lot of scenes that played into a similar tone and there's one scene with Brooklyn in the season that is absolutely very disturbingly t intense and in my spoiler review it will be probably the number one highlight it, as it was my favorite scene of the season but what did you guys think of season two of Jurassic World Chaos Theory? Do you rank it higher than season one? Do you rank it as equal or do you think it's a little bit lower? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Remember, no spoilers in this video. Save that for the spoiler-filled review video. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching, maybe leaving a like and subscribing. Be sure to share the video as it helps the algorithm, and it really helps me because it tells me that you guys are really liking this content. Yes, you can just leave a regular like, but you sharing it with friends and family and your own social media followers. It really helps me see that you guys really like it. But again, thank you for watching, guys. Remember that you are all amazing out there. Never forget that. Stay safe, and until the next Jurassic World Chaos Theory video, guys, enjoy yourself.